All right, welcome back to this video. Now, in this video, we are going to solve the question that is Wasi 2010. Wasi 2010, question 2A. So it is about depression. So the angle of depression of a boat from the midpoint of a vertical cliff is 35 degrees. It's 35 degrees. If the boat is 120 meters away from the foot of the cliff, calculate the height of the cliff. So, first of all, let's see how the cliff is. The cliff is like this. And the angle of depression is starting from the middle of what? The cliff. So if the height here is h, then the height here will be h. But the whole height will be what? 2h. I'll explain. And this is going to represent the foot. This is going to represent the foot of the cliff. Okay. So the angle of depression. The angle of depression of a boat from the midpoint of a vertical cliff is 35 degrees. So now, uh -huh, now watch. Let me emphasize on something. If your eye level is like this, if your eye level is like this, angle of depression will go like this. But the angle of sorry, angle of elevation will be like this. But the angle of Depression will go like this. So the angle that we make with the elevation will be like this. That's why it's always this. But the angle that will be for depression will be like this. And that one will be like this. So if you draw it as a right angle triangle, you're going to get it like this. So the angle will come here. And for elevation it will be like this. So see. Forming right angle triangle for elevation is not the same as depression. Look at where the angle is. But in this case, look at where the angle is. And always, the angle makes with the adjacent and the hypotenuse. So we did this the adjacent and this the hypotenuse. So if it's like this, it's whether you are using alternate angles so that the angle here, if it's A, then here will be A. I'm showing you the two methods to solve. <coughs> but if it's elevation, the right angle triangle, the right angle triangle will just come here. And your right angle triangle will be literally presented like that. But for depression, it is going to be like this. Your eye level will now move from this place to this place. So you can use alternate angles. I mean, you can use alternate angles so that here we will also be the same as here. So your focus for forming the right angle triangle will now be based on this right angle. There are some times too that you can find the angle here. Okay? Okay, but if you want to, if, if you don't want to use alternate angle, then you ignore this angle and you know that this one here is 90 degrees. So if here is 90 degrees, then to get the angle here, if this is A, then here will be 90 minus what? A. So here will be 90 minus A. The A is the angle here. But take note that if your angle is here, this will not be your opposite. If your angle is here, this is the opposite, this is the hypotenuse, this is the other side. But, my friend, if your angle is here, this will be your other side, this will be your hypotenuse, this will be your opposite. Because always the angle mixed with the other side and the hypotenuse. I hope it's clear. Alright. And most students, when you are answering the question question, your common mistake is that you will be thinking that the angle here, which is 35 degrees, will be here. The 
Let the fire. No! But rather, if you want the angle to be here, then it should be 90 minus 35. Is that correct? So the depression will come like this, and the eye level will be like this, and uh, now that your, your new eye level will be here. So this one will be 35 degrees. If you want to use alternate angles, then here will be 35 degrees. I can, I'm going to use both methods to solve, and it's going to work the same way. So if this is that, then we know that this is going to be the other side, okay? And it's going to be the opposite. So, let's see if the other side is given. Uh, okay, if the boat is 120 meters away from the foot of the cliff, so that means that the foot is given at 120 meters. So, it's only time that will connect the other side to the opposite. So tan 31 is equal to opposite over the other side. So H is equal to 120 times tan 31. Simple. You see that? Very good. But the H is not the height of the cliff. The height of the cliff will be capital H. Will be capital. So twice of the height will give you the capital H. Okay, and let's assume that you don't want to work with using the alternative angle, but you want to use the other method. All right, so now this time, this 120 times 10, 35 is going to give you 84 point, 84.0249. Very good. So to look for the height, it will be 2 times 84.0349. That's going to be the height of the cliff. Alright, got it. So your final answer is going to be 168.05 meters. 168.05. Alright, so thank you. That's all for that. See you in our next video. Bye bye. I'm worried.